Procreate 5X is the new update that's now available on the App Store. In this video I explain all the new features. Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave and the Groot, but you can call me Stave. Great news, there's a new update for Procreate. Procreate 5X or Procreate 5.1. In order to use all of the new features, you first need to update your iPad to iPad OS 14. This update has the scribble function where you can write text with your Apple Pencil and then the text will be converted to typed text. Before you update Procreate, first make a backup of all your files, like your artwork, custom color palettes and custom brushes. This video has time codes for each new feature in Procreate 5X. I've listed them in the description or you can press on the timeline. I'm very excited about the new things in Procreate 5X. So let's get started. So what's new in Procreate 5X? Private layer. Insert a private file. Go to Actions and then press on the Add tab. Swipe from right to left on Insert a File. You see the Insert a Private File button. Tap on it to import a photo or image from the Files app. When you check your layers, you see that the inserted image is set to Private. Insert a Private Photo. You can do the same from Insert a Photo. Swipe from right to left to insert a photo. You see the insert a private photo button. Tap on it to import a photo or image from the photo library. When you check your layers, you see that the inserted image is set to private. Take a private photo. Swipe from right to left on take a photo. You see the take a private photo button. Tap on it to take a picture with your iPad camera. Then confirm by tapping on Use Photo. When you check your layers, you see that the inserted image is set to Private. You can add multiple private layers to your canvas. Use them as reference without showing them in your final time-lapse video. This is a great feature if you want to make time-lapse videos without showing all the reference pictures and sketches. Text. What's new to iPad OS 14 is the ability to use Scribble and write with the Apple Pencil. The Scribble will be converted to typed text. In Procreate you now can use this when you add text to your canvas. Go to Actions and tap on Add Text. Now the keyboard comes up with the default name Text. When you turn the keyboard off by tapping on the keyboard icon below right and you tap on the Text field, the Apple Pencil Scribble icon appears in the left corner below. Edit Text with Scribble. With Scribble you can edit your text. When you cross out a letter, it will be deleted. If you have several words in a sentence, you can combine them by drawing a line downwards. You can create a space between two words by drawing a line upwards. You can select the word when you draw a line from left to right on the word. Scribble recognition. You can also write text with your Apple Pencil in the text box. The text will be recognized and will be set to typed text. There's a new small pop-up window with some standard editing tools. Renaming layer name with Scribble. You can also rename your layers with using Scribble. Tap on the layer and select Rename. Now you can write a layer name and it will be converted to typed text. You can write it in capital letters or write cursive. Scribble will recognize it. Reference. When you go to Actions and select the Canvas tab, there's a new feature called Reference. 
turn it on and a floating window opens. You can see your canvas, import an image and use face paint. Reference Canvas With reference you can create a separate floating window to have a smaller view of your canvas. You can move around the window by dragging it on the top bar. You can resize the window by dragging the right below corner of the window. This is great to have a total view of your canvas when you are zoomed in and are painting in details. You can also pick colors from the reference window. Reference image. Press on the image button. Tap on import image to import an image from photos. The photo will be imported. Tap on the window to go back to the default screen. You can clear the image by pressing on clear in the upper left corner. Press on import to change the picture. You can also zoom in and out and rotate the image by pinching and rotating your fingers. You can also pick colors from the image by pressing on the image with your apple pencil or finger. Face paint. Press on face and Procreate will ask you to access your camera. The camera is on and you can point it to your face. If you already have an image on your canvas, it will be mapped onto your face. On the canvas you see four reference crosses. The first two are alignments to your eyes. The middle one is the reference to your nose. And the last cross is the reference to your mouth. This will help you to draw a different face onto your own face. Create a new layer and start painting on your face. You can paint all kinds of things on your face. I already painted this image of a bearded man. When you turn your face you can see the entire painting is mapped to your face. Use the reference window as a reference to where you want to paint. Options. On the upper left corner you get several options. Take a photo to take a snapshot of your drawn on face. Record a video to record a video with the drawn on face. Camera to turn on or turn off the camera, leaving you with the mask of your face. Full screen to make the reference window full screen. Record yourself and share the video on socials. You can also access face paint immediately when you create a new canvas. Select face paint and the canvas is all set up. Adjustments In the adjustments menu there are some cool new filters. You now can use all of the filters on a layer or use your apple pencil to adjust small parts of your image. You can now apply the effect with any brush you choose from the brushes menu. If you for instance want to use Gaussian Blur on part of your image, you can blur it with your selected brush. Use your finger to increase the effect and draw with your Apple Pencil to apply the effect. This is a dynamic effect because you can use the slides to adjust them on the fly. When you use this with hue saturation brightness, you can dynamically change the hue saturation and brightness with the slides. When you tap on the screen you get a pop-up window where you can apply the effect, undo, preview, cancel and reset. The adjustments for layers and pencil works on all of the adjustments effects. New filters. The new filters are gradient map, bloom, glitch, halftone, and chromatic aberration. Gradient map. With gradient map you can apply a gradient on top of your layer. A new window opens with some default gradient maps you can choose from. Mystic, Breeze, Instant, Venice, Blaze, Neon, Noir and Mocha. When you tap on them you can move around the color swatches. When you tap on a swatch you can change the color. 
You can also make your own gradient map by tapping on the plus. It starts out with the default black and white gradient. Tap on the swatches to change the colors. Tap on the gradient bar to add more swatches. Stave tip. Duplicate the layer you want to apply a gradient map to. Apply the effect and use the blend modes and opacity of the layer to have more control over the gradient map. Bloom. With Bloom you can add a Bloom effect to your layer or choose Pencil to use the effect on smaller portions. This is great to use in portraits. When you drag your finger across the screen from left to right you can increase the effect. With the sliders you can adjust the transition, size and burn. You can also apply the Bloom effect to your layer by choosing Layer. Glitch. With Glitch you can add some cool glitches to your layer. You have four different glitch options. Artifact, Wave, Signal and Diverge. With the sliders you can adjust the glitch. Artifact. In Artifact you can adjust the amount, block size and zoom of the artifact. When you drag across the canvas you can increase or decrease the effect. Wave. In Wave you can adjust the amplitude, frequency and zoom of the wave. When you drag across the canvas you can increase or decrease the effect. Signal. In Signal you can adjust the amount, block size and zoom of the signal. The effect looks like an old TV screen. When you drag across the canvas you can increase or decrease the effect. Diverge. In Diverge you can adjust the RGB colors with red shift, green shift and blue shift. When you drag across the canvas you can increase or decrease the effect. You can combine all of these effects by applying the effect in several passes. When you have finished with a filter tap on the screen and choose apply to apply the effect. Using glitch with pencil. You can also apply all the glitch effects with pencil. Then you can paint in the effects with any brush. When you look at the brush icon you can see that it has two stars next to them. Halftone. With halftone you can create halftone effects to your image. Halftones are used for printing in offset. You can use three options. Full color. With full color you can add a halftone effect and the RGB colors are separated in a different angle to create a moiré effect. The original image is still underneath the halftone creating a darker halftone effect. Adjust the size of the raster by dragging from left to right on the canvas. Screen print. With screen print you can add a halftone effect and the RGB colors are separated in different angles to create the moiré effect. With screen print the image will be built up by the halftone dots, creating a lighter version of halftones. Adjust the size of the raster by dragging from left to right on the canvas. Newspaper. Newspaper will turn your image into a black and white halftone. Adjust the size of the raster by dragging from left to right on the canvas. You can also use this effect on a duplicate layer and set the layer to multiply it blend it with the colored layer. Stave tip. When you want to use the halftone effect with illustrations or comics, make a canvas with an inked layer and a separate layer for your colors. Apply the halftone only to your colored layer. This way your ink layer will not be rasterized. You can also apply all of the halftone effects with pencil. Then you can paint in the effects with any brush. Chromatic Aberration With Chromatic Aberration you can displace the RGB channels of your canvas. 
With perspective, you can place the perspective circle to where the displacement is coming from. Drag across the screen to increase the effect. Use transition to increase the effect. And use fall off to let it fall off your canvas. With displace, you can displace the RGB channels. You can blur the channels and change the transparency. Transform. In Transform there's a feature called snapping. The transformation will then snap to a grid. You can adjust the amount of snap. When set to 100% you can easily align your object or layer to the center of your canvas. Transform bounding box. When you have made a selection and want to transform, you can now rotate the bounding box. Below the bounding box you see a yellow handle to rotate the bounding box. When you have a rectangle object, you can now adjust the bounding box to the rectangle. In this way you have more control over your transform. Color palettes. In color palettes you can now add color palettes from photos or pictures that you take. Select the color menu and go to the palettes section. Press on the plus and three new options are included. New from camera. Select new from camera and take a picture from your environment to create a color palette. New from file. Select New from File to import the palette from an image or color palette you have saved to the Files app. You can also import existing Adobe ACO and ASE palettes. New from Photos. Select New from Photos to import the palette from an image you have saved to Photos. Quick Menu. You can now add multiple quick menus in Procreate 5X. When you open quick menu, you see a gray button in the middle. Tap on it and a window pops up. Press on the plus and create a new quick menu. Now you can assign new actions to each button by pressing and holding the button. You can scroll through all of the set actions. Press on the action to assign it to the button. Color fill. When you select the selection tool, there's one new option. Color fill. Select color fill and then make a selection with freehand, rectangle or ellipse. The shape is automatically filled with the color you have selected. You can apply feather to your selection to make the shape softer. Tap on invert to invert your selection. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that notification bell because each time I upload a new video you get a notification. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!